All right, let's play some more Squally. Uh, we're going to cure the townspeople by speaking to Hera. Here we are on the top of the Medusa Temple. Which, did it go the other way? No, it doesn't seem to. Have. Slash, slash. Sorry, Angel, I didn't mean to hit you with my sword. Oh, it's uh, freaking Zeus here. Squally says nothing. I understand. Say no more. Take the spell book. From this you will learn how to control light. And I didn't get anything, I, if I recall correctly, when I pickpocketed this angel. Let's see if we pickpocket Zeus what we get. Nothing. Why are you all... Why do you not have anything for Guano? Is it because he was turned to stone? Is it because he was turned to stone? Alright, let's go. Lion's Cistern. Oh, it's this guy again. Nothing. I, I, it must be bugged. Uh, so this is the way we came in. We already... Oh, that explains what this rope was for. Okay. Uh, we actually did this on the way in, so we don't need anything special here. Oh, or maybe we do. I do remember we did this on the way in. Oh, I thought we did. Or were these were these off? Or was there a lever or something on the other side? Uh, okay. Well, th this time we got no comments, so we got no help, uh, which is which is fine. Um, God, I could have sworn we did this on the way in. Well, anyway. Uh, oh, yeah. I swear we did. Didn't we just knop this? I'm positive we did. Look, not nap. Yeah, I I, I could have sworn we did. Unless there's a lever over here on this side that I uh, forgot about. Yeah, okay, there is. That's why. We just turned the lever off. All right, that makes sense. We didn't need to do it before. And now we go to this way. Blocked. So we know we don't go that way. Where is... Uh, oh, I need to cure the townspeople first. Then speak to Hera. Because I have the mirror now. The mirror cures people. Alright. Yeah. Remember now, I remember. I remember. Good truce, good truce, good truce. Let's start with... Let's start over here and work our way back. Hello. Oh, look at that. I am in your debt. Okay, well then give me free shit. You're in my debt, but you're not going to give me anything. Okay, well, I guess we'll call on that debt later somehow. And your turn. Ooh. Pick your pockets. Yeah, pickpocketing is bugged. Well, let's not get anything. How about a round of hexes? Let's do this. Uh, that's all. Base cards. Get rid of the foot one. Okay, that's even worse. Um... Uh, Whatever, let's do it. These are the highest value cards that I have, by the way. Four. I've been facing a lot of opponents that have, like, uh, like fives and stuff in their hands. Let's put a carrot. Ads are nice. Oh, I should have gotten this out right away. All right, uh, then let's do, because fours are the highest value cards I've got, I might as well play them. And then we'll play that guy. He did a flip two? What did he do? He did a flip two that didn't seem to do anything? Doesn't seem to have affected anything. I, I have no idea what the hell that was. Play that guy. Why is he even still playing? He's got two cards left and he's got less than half my score. I think I should probably just stand. Yeah. As, uh, I don't understand your choice, my friend, but... Alright, we gotta move, uh, and 
I'll flip one, which isn't going to do me a lot of good. Um, let's get rid of the flip one, and I'm going to flip two. Okay, well, the flip two I can at least use to negate his pebble, if nothing else. So, let's play our Gnip, and let's play... Let's play our flip two. Holy moly. All right, then we're going to need to play oh, this guy. And I wish I had a lower value card to do this with, but let's just turn the five into a three. Shave some more points off. Oh, you son of a bitch. Well, that's my last play. That's the highest highest I can get. He's got three cards left, so it's not looking good. Yeah, yeah. All right, this one is his. I got one more round to try and do this. Uh, you know, this is worth three right now. I really wish I had more of these guys in my deck. You, you see how valuable it is, right, to have, like, if you had, like, uh... 20 cards in your deck and 10 of them were this guy um, then your chances of getting one of those 10 is 50 percent and it's worth 10 so it's uh should i keep the flip two this time i don't know what he's gonna play but this does affect the whole row so yeah let's do it i don't have enough card. i'm gonna if i go if i go first um i'm not gonna have enough cards to play so I guess I could play the flip two on these guys. Then they'll all be worth three, uh, which will be nine. Yeah. Let's let's see what happens. Shift right would be useful. Um, we win this guy here. Give me some more points if we do that. Damn. Damn it. Those five value five cards, they are just. They change the game completely. Alright, I got a carrot and I got a pebble. And I got a demon hodge. I actually rather like this, so let's go with let's get my pebble out and my carrots. And let's get uh I kinda wanna save the demon haunch if I can. Um so I will get uh, I'll get the Gnip out, and I will move that value over here to my Pebble to bank that for later rounds, hopefully. I wish he, uh, he doesn't have enough cards in the world for me really to do that. Um, at least I don't think so. Let's play this, and we'll play the Flip 2 on myself to further fortify our pebble. Okay, uh, then we'll play this and the Jacob, I suppose. He's got two cards left. I feel like uh, he'll play them. Oh, there we go. He tried to weaken us uh, a little bit, but he still didn't have the juice, and I get to save my Demon Haunch for the next round. And I am fine with this. <laughs> okay, demon haunch. And let's play the carrot. Jesus. Okay, he's out of cards, so 16 is what he's got. Uh, if I play just these guys, I got 6, so that would be 12. That's not enough. If I play...
this and add this. All right, if I, uh, if I play this and I add uh, this, then I'll end up with seven, which is 13, still not enough. And then if I play my flip two, Back. All right, so if I play that, then uh, this one will end up with uh, zero, one, zero. Make that a six, and the other one will have one of the bits flipped to zero, so one flipped to one, which gives me 11 in this row. 11. Plus, okay, so that's 11 in this row, and then I'll have two in this one, so that's 13, and then that's 14, 15, 16. I think that's a win. I think so. this and this and then I win. There we go. Finally. I'm telling you guy. Yes you are. Oh and you get to play hexes too. I'm starting to get bored of hexes again. Oh, let's put nine here. Hold on. Should try to fit two. Uh and an add. Um, okay. Let's get the demon hong chop right away, and we'll play a crabby boy. The demon haunch was, uh, was really killer in the first few, first few levels, but as these opponents get higher and higher valued cards, it, uh, becomes increasingly... Um, increasingly less of a thing. I'm going to play the Jacobs right away. Um, actually, maybe I should save them for another round, because I'm going to try and do my flip two on the hex row. But I will need to wait two rounds before I do so. And we are in the first hand, so the chances of that happening are pretty good. So... Let's do this, and then we'll do our add on the Krabby Boy. Oh, well, maybe not. He just gave up. Uh, oh, he's got seven cards still in his hand. Well, I mean, I'm not going to play more cards, um, you know, in the hopes that uh, something happens. That's, yeah. That's a tough call. That's a tough call. Well, we don't need two of those. So it was not a tough call. It was actually pretty easy. All right. Let's play uh, this, and we will play one of those shift twos. Okay, and we will play... Did I say shift twos before? I meant flip twos. A shift right over here will mean this becomes a 1, and this will become a 2, uh, which is pretty damn detrimental. So this is going to be our shift right right here. So we will shift right. And I'm going to save the flip 2 because it would only get rid of um, 2 points right now. Wait, how does he still have 12? Oh, because he's got the 5. I missed the 5. Well, that's still not going to help anything. So let's play one of these boys. One of the bunny boys. We have got another flip too, huh? I still don't have enough juice uh, here to uh, to do anything. Uh, even if I get back to nine, um, I just don't have the points. So uh, I should probably resign. Right, because here's three. 
six, and then nine is only 15. So we're passing. Okay, well, got equal cards, so I'll flip one. Flip one is not going to do me much good. It probably won't do them much good. A shift left, that's much better. Oh, I'm first. Um, okay. Uh, then I... Should I, come, should I come out strong? Um, yeah, I will. All my eggs in this basket here. <sighs> Damn it. I was going to shift left that row. Now the best I can do is to get it back to normal. Let's see. Actually, I could flip two on this now, couldn't I? Oh, I totally could. Oh, wait. Didn't do it. Shift left. Wait, what? Flip two. Oh, flip. Yeah. Oh, damn. That was stupid. Well, I know what I'm playing next time, I guess. I, I can't win now, though. That was just really dumb. Yeah, I screwed this one up. Yeah. Damn it. I... Oh, I wish I was smarter. Um, holy shit, look at all these carrots we got. Oh my god. Um, I mean, I get a card when I play them, so I guess I will keep them. Uh, I have a lot of crap this here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this. I'm going to play this hand. <laughs> I am going to play this hand. We're going to see what happens. That's so many binary cards. I hope I get a shift left or something and play them all in the same row. Uh, let's just throw out just, just a, a mob of crabby boys coming at him. <laughs> oh boy! All right, well, let's play. A, let's play a mob of carrots. Oh, we did get a shift left. Oh my god! Oh boy! I hope he doesn't uh, do anything to screw this up for me. <laughs> okay! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Oh, nice. Yes, that's that's right, damn it. I got no juice left for any of the other hands, but I tell you. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to play this. I, I, I don't care for the pebble. Actually, I, I think I'm going to the pebble. Um, because we're already in the second round, and if things go well, then I uh, I won't need it. So, yeah, that's, that's a good play. That was a good play. All right, and uh, we are going to let's see. Let's play a carrot right away, and uh, we are going to play a ganip, and then next round we are going to play the coronavirus boys, and we're going to shift left. Coronavirus boys and shift left. God, he's got so many cards. Um, let's play the carrots. Oh, that's shit. Okay. Um, all right, then let's play. Oh, I already played the carrot this round. Um, yeah, let's play this. All right, 27. I don't know if I can do this. Let's see. Right now I'm at 18, so that'll give me uh, 21, 24. Oh, yeah, we do win. Yeah, we got this. There we go. Oh, that was very nice. Okay, let's uh, get in. Uh, yeah. Here and I'm go. Oh, I can't. Can't put. Oh, I'm not in the. Uh, 
Oh, really? Oh my god. In order to get back there, I gotta go all the way. Alright. If I remember correctly, there was no nothing upstairs. I don't, I don't think. I gotta go double check on that positive. Don't nobody over here. No. There's chests up here. That's it. No peoples. Right, the front, uh, actually, yes, the front. Welcome. You have nothing. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where did you go? What the hell? Okay, I guess that's gratitude for you. I have 102 IOUs that I've managed to accumulate, and, um, Honestly, everything is expensive, so let's cure the blacksmith and see what we can craft, eh? Thank you, even shipments. Alright, well, see how expensive everything is? It's crazy. And, like, the, I can't believe I don't have enough materials, because I get materials all the time for, like, every battle. Um, Alright, Golden Sword doesn't offer any benefits other than damage and mediocre speed. It was the, the hammer, if I remember correctly, that was really the best. That's a lot of mats, though. I can see why. Uh, Olympus has crazy damage. Fire wand does nothing but damage. Steel sword. Pretty close to getting enough for the steel sword. I only need three more iron for that. Um, but again, it's the bludgeoning weapons that are really where it's at. Or bow and wand. I kind of, I kind of just, I, you know what? I think I actually want to focus on something that will give me a uh, greater mana pool uh, because right now my mana pool is so small I can really only cast like um, one or two times before I'm out of mana and I could just go just like I, I could just edit you know use che cheat engine to edit that value to uh, to give me infinite mana but uh, I haven't been I should probably um, Look up a trainer for the Squally before I quit today, so that I um, I figured out what I was saying. Oh, right, so that I ha I don't have to do the procedure every time. I could probably also uh, cheat and give myself all the mats, uh, but um, I'm good. Looks like the emerald wand is the I could probably just buy those mats and make that, huh? What was the, uh, there was, oh, that's right, the Sapphire one, there's no, no bonuses. Um, this, I'm just gold. I don't have gold for sale. Okay. Then, do you have, nope, you don't have gold for sale. Well, then I can't make anything, I guess. See ya! Uh, return to Hera. Where was she again? Was she over here? Was she? Or was she... Was she back here? Did I not go in the door? I think I missed going in here. Yeah, okay. Thank you for your help. Where are you headed? You're on an expedition towards the crack in the sky. The only way to get there is through Pyramid Pass. With the pyramid, there is a secret tunnel. This is a very dangerous path. The ridge to the east of town will take you there. Best of luck. Before you go, choose a piece of armor from one of the glass displays. Okay. Uh, we got a helmet, a hat, and what is this? Inspect the item. Alkalite's cap. Three mana, one armor. Speed five. Why do I need speed on a cap? Does it increase my speed? Archer's hat. Armor two, attack one, health two, mana two, so speed to level five. That seems already like it's a well-rounded best choice. 
Copper Helm, Armor, Attack, Health. Um, so I'm torn. Uh, the one in the middle seems to be the best choice in terms of mechanics. <laughs> and yet, I don't like the look of it. <laughs> Aesthetically, it's not my favorite. Um, but we're going to take it. That's fine. Archer's hat. How do I equip this? Equipment with one. Oh, the one pendant. I forgot about that. Uh, we should equip that as well. And the archer's hat. Maybe I should just equip the. the uh... No, because you know what? Squally legitimately does a lot of attacking. You know, so increasing my mana pool will be useful when I have attack spells. Um, but it just occurred to me that even if I can cast the attack more often, so it'll, it'll do less damage. So unless I'm doing like the uh, pushback and stuff, which I should probably start doing, seeing as action economy seems to be becoming a problem for me. Um, yeah. Squally is looking fresh. Look at that. I have never seen a more attractive brain in my life. Okay, so I think it was through here and then past the fountain. I do, I do want to upgrade Squally's weapon. It's copper sword, man. It, it just doesn't match his. Oh, there, that's where he ran off to. All right, pickpocket him. I swear, it's. Uh... Want me to raise the bridge for him? Thank you. Uh, all right, let's let's play some Hexus, and then that'll be it for this part. I feel like I play Hexus in this game a lot. I'm, I wish it was less. Um, it's fun and all, but it happens a lot. And I know I don't have to. I could skip them. They don't seem to be mandatory. And yet, there's a little icon floating above their head, and I cannot abide that. So, all right, we got a shift left. Two Krabby Boys. Boy, we got a flip two as well. That's going to be a killer combo. Oh boy. Let's play it. Alright, I'm not going to put both Krabby Boys out at once. Yeah. Put them both out here. And then I'll do a flip two, and then I'll do a shift left. Two, shift left. Yeah, you're damn right. <sighs> the pebble is... I'm going to get rid of the pebble. Perfect. We got the carrot and the move. So I'm going to play the... Actually, I'm going to play the demon haunch. And I'm going to play the carrot. Throw out one of them high value cards so I can do a move on it. Uh, now I'll throw out a bunny boy and a bunny boy. Damn, I wish I had a shift right right now. Um, Alright, now I'll play... I really want to bait him into throwing out one of his higher value cards. I'm going to save that move um, until I'm sure that I... I'm sure it will it will do what I want it to do. All right, he's got one card left. So this is my last play, and then he's got one card that he could potentially use to save himself. So if I play this, I'll have 23, and then I can negate one of his fours, so he'll be down to 20, so it'll be 23 to 24. That's pretty precarious. There's a, or, or you know what, I could actually, maybe it would be smarter if I moved my six to somewhere else, wouldn't it? So if I play this and then move my six to, say, the carrot, then that will be uh, nine points and I'll be at 29. That seems safer. Not what you got. Yes. Got it. Whew. 
All right. That's it for part nine or whatever. Next time, we'll do the uh, Pyramid and Squally part ten.